globally, STEM, and particularly science, has become a real focus in many educational organizations because there's so much potential in it right now, especially in Sub-Saharan and specifically in Western Africa. There's a lot more opportunities emerging and it's important to capitalize on that, but in a very engaging and exciting way. In Ghana, science is perceived as the hardest subject. That's what we heard a lot when we spoke to teachers that it is so difficult because the students already come to the classroom with the perception that science is the hardest subject. So that's maybe the subject where a different way of teaching is most necessary in order to motivate the students and help them understand it better. PEN is the Practical Education Network. It's an NGO based in Ghana who do teacher training workshops. In these workshops, Penn trains teachers to use more practicals and science lessons. Penn is convinced that if you use locally available material to do practicals, then students will understand science better and science actually becomes demystified. Penn has trained over 2,500 teachers across the greater Accra region. After workshops, these teachers would go back to their classrooms and hopefully engage in these hands-on practicals with students. However, Penn was having challenges really getting teachers to uptake these methods more regularly and they were having difficulties tracking their teachers and maintaining these relationships. As the capstone team, we did two different tracks of work. One was to develop a social incentive strategy to improve rates of uptake with teachers. And the other track was focusing more on the data side, not only tracking how these incentives are working, but also tracking relationships with teachers and measuring impact in general. Our research focused on learning from the teachers, learning from other NGOs in Ghana that work in education, how they're incentivizing teachers and what the teachers want to be incentivized with. Oftentimes what Penn was finding and what we found through our research is that once the teachers have received this great training and they learn, they then go to their classrooms and their schools and they're maybe the only science teacher there, how can they be encouraged to continue to adopt these science practices on a daily basis when nobody else is really focusing on this student-centered practical learning and they have all these other challenges in the classroom. The incentive strategy proposal that we've prepared for Penn is comprised of eight incentives. They are all evidence-based and they're also things that Penn realistically can accomplish given their current capacity. Some incentive strategies are based on recognition that you should recognize very successful teachers for example, by naming them Teacher of the Month. Or another example would be that we found that teachers are motivated by career and promotional prospects. So we thought that Penn should introduce these practical certificates. This could serve as proof when they go to promotional interviews and they could actually show how they change their teaching practices and that they've been successful in that. Penn has an incredible impact head who's been collecting lots of data from head teachers at schools teachers that Penn has trained and students. The question was, what do you do with the data? So we came in and developed a wide array of tools. One is a long-term tracking tool that Penn can really measure its impact over several years. The other is more of an instant data visualization of all of their survey results from each of those key stakeholders. With these tools, Penn will be able to really understand some of the nuances, and this will allow Penn to create strategies that can effectively address any challenges that different groups are facing uh, when it comes to the Penn curriculum. The bigger picture goal of our project is to really ensure that students are, are enjoying learning, whether that be science or in general being excited about being in the classroom because there is an engaging activity going on. At the same time, ensuring that teachers are excited about teaching and being in the classroom. The idea is if there's an increase in excitement about science from the students, that will slowly improve Ghana's environment surrounding learning and critical thinking. 